here's the CTC 17 salvage chassis and I was really able to improve the CTC 28 by using parts off of it. I got the, uh, the coil that feeds the video output tube and I also got some tubes and both of those contributed to making the picture a lot better on the CTC 28. But every time I've I've seen a, a tube type color TV I've gotten it even if it was just totally looked like total junk because every time I've, I've really been able to use parts off of those junk chassis so often and getting other TVs going so I'm really glad that over the years I've gotten all these salvage TV chassis from junk sets or some I've seen some that have had the picture tubes busted but they still had a intact chassis so I've salvaged them we'll now go down to the room where the CTC 28 is and we'll check the performance it's what happens after you press it well, here's the CTC 28 turn the volume down a little bit and I put in the new coil the wiring is, looks a little hokey but I just did a, I just spliced it in on the top of the circuit board and I used some lead salvage from capacitors to extend the terminals up to the new coil. I didn't want to damage the coil, plus I didn't want to take the entire set apart again because you got to take the tuner apart and all that, so I thought, well, especially just to try it, I'll just uh, wire it in from the top. But I think it'll be a, a good repair. I took the Dremel tool and I ground off all the corrosion off the old pins of the uh, old coil and then soldered on the new one. And the tubes I replaced was the sink, uh, an AGC tube, the 6KA8. But the one that gave the biggest improvement was the first video tube. And I'll put its shield back on. But when I replace those tubes and replace that coil, we now have a, a really good, strong color picture. Got lots of contrast. Let me turn it on. Got good contrast, uh, good brightness, good color. Maybe we'll do a little bit of fine tuning on it here. It still could use some some convergence set up on it. And could use just a touch more adjustment on everything. But it really looks so much better. So now I think I can call this a almost done job except for doing a just a little bit of fine tuning on the convergence. And I may just wait till I get a dot bar generator in here to do that. Because I think most of the problems in the convergence are around the edges. It's not the center convergence, but the edge convergence. But I replaced all those capacitors. I'm really glad that I did that. And uh, because I've got good vertical now, the picture fills the screen. And that's what the Sylvania is going to need. I think it's going to need some new caps to get the... Looks like I've got a, maybe a little bit of an intermittent here. I may need to try to... may need to try to clean the tuner. Let's see here. Just adjust the vertical. She's afraid that these are just decorations for the Caroling. I think Carol is right about the Caroling. I'm talking about the, the packages that are backstage. There, there aren't any packages backstage. Oh, there's none back there. <sighs> so I was mistaken when I saw this bag of gifts. Maybe I'm wrong, but sure looks like a bag of gifts. Oh, it's heavy like a bag of gifts. Look at this. What's in here? It, wait, this is the oh, it's very heavy. Very heavy. John Pierce. Doesn't your mom call you JJ? 
Now I thought I, I thought I saw some brightness variations, but it looks like there's a mirrored ball in that auditorium in the TV show, and it's ending up causing uh, variations in the video that it can't the HV regulation can't quite keep up with it. But uh, I'm really pleased with the performance now, the CTC28. And so that that's it. I'll put it back together. And then when I get the dot bar generator, I may go ahead and do another uh, video of just a fine tuning of the convergence. Come on, have a good rest of your press. Now, August 1982 is playing a church service over in Odessa tonight. That's I, I'm down uh, down here in downtown Midland tonight because I had to play the organ. So I'll be going over to that church service with August 1982 tonight. So I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas and uh, have a good Christmas Day tomorrow. And I'll keep updating you with uh, progress on the TVs. The, the next one. Uh, we'll concentrate on will be the Sylvania.